Gemara in Shabbos says, Va'omar Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi, Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi said, Bisho she'olo Moshe l'amoroim, when Moshe Rabbeinu ascended high above to receive the Torah, Omru Malache Ashores Lifnei HaKadosh Baruch Hu. The angel said to Hashem, Ribbonoi Shaloilom, Master of the Universe, Ma Liyelud Isho Beinenu. What is a one born of a woman doing among us? The Ribbonoi Shaloilom said, he came to receive the Torah. So they said to him, Omru lefonov chamudo gnuzo, shegnuzo lecho, tof tof kuf ayin dale doigos. This uh, precious treasure that's been hidden for 974 generations, whatever that means. And you want to give it to flesh and blood? Place your majesty on the heavens. So, Mo Enosh, Kisiz Kerenu, Uben Odom Kisiz Kedenu. These are psukim in. Tehillim, Kapitel Ches, that the Gemara is placing in the mouth of the Malochim. They're saying, what? Mo Enoish, what is frail man? Kisis Kirenu, that he be remembered. Uben Odom, the son of man. Kisif Kidenu, that you should be mindful of him. Tno hoitcho ala shomayim. Torah should be given in heaven. So... The Gemara says, Omalo Yakodish Boruchu le Moshe, Hachzer Lohem Chuva. The Rabbi Yishalom said to Moshe Rabbeinu, Give them an answer. Moshe Rabbeinu said, Misyore Onoichi, I'm afraid. Shemo Yisrefuni Behevel Shebepiem, they might burn me with the fiery breath of their mouth. So the Rabbi Yishalom says to him, Echoiz Bekise Hakovoid Vahachzer Lohem Chuva. Hold on to my throne of glory and answer them. And then finally, Moshe Rabbeinu tells them, explains to them why it is in particular man that is meant to receive the Torah. Because we were in Mitzrayim, we worked for Paroi, we have a Yetzirah, and there's so many things in Torah that apply only to man. And then the Gemara says, the angels agreed. And understood that Torah should be given to man. Now the problem with this Gemara is that the question of the Malachim was addressed to the Rabbeinu Shalom. They were complaining to the Rabbeinu Shalom, why would you be giving the Torah to man? So we would expect that the Rabbeinu Shalom should answer the Malachim. Why does the Rabbeinu Shalom turn to Moshe Rabbeinu and say, Give them an answer. Moshe Rabbeinu wasn't at all involved in this decision that Torah should be given to man. Why does he owe the answer? It would seem that if man is not capable of justifying why he is worthy of receiving the Torah, he really isn't worthy of receiving the Torah. And that's why the answer to the Kitrug of Mo Enoish Kisiz Kirenu Ben Odom Kisif Kidenu needs to come from man. Hachzer Lohem Tshuva. The Rabbi Shalom is willing to give him some support. Echoiz Bikisei Akovoid Vahachzer Lohem Tshuva. But in the end of the day, the answer has to come from Moshe Rabbeinu. And that's because, you know, Kabbalah Satoira, the word Kabbalah in the Hebrew language, can uh, mean passively receiving, as in Kabbalah Matona, receiving a gift, but it can also mean actively taking upon oneself 
like in Kabbalah's Achrayus, taking responsibility. And Kabbalah's Atari, you know, has more to do with Kabbalah in the sense of taking upon myself than Kabbalah in the sense of receiving passively. And in order for man to take upon himself the responsibility of Torah, he has to know that he is worthy of Torah and he is capable of Kiyum Torah. And he's not just a more enosh kisiz kirenu. He's not just a frail man who isn't worthy of being remembered. Already at the time of Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim, which is when we began our journey towards Har Sinai, we see the Pesach says, Vayaminu b'Hashem. Uve Avdoi, they believed in Hashem and in Moshe his servant. It's kind of unusual that the Torah should talk about faith in a human being, faith in Moshe Rabbeinu. Reb Tzadik HaKoyen Milublin in his Tzitka Satzadik, Ois 154, says that we know that Moshe Rabbeinu encompasses, incorporates all the Yiddish and Shamois. Chazal tell us, Moshe Rabbeinu is representative of all of us. And he says that Yevayaminu b'Hashem uve Moshe Avdoi actually means that they believed in Hashem and they believed in themselves. Moshe, not Moshe, the man, but Moshe is all of us. Because he says, that just like one has to have faith in the Rabbeinu Shalom, one has to believe in himself and know that he's not just Kechaisoi, you are, he's not just a beast, but he's a Tzelem Elohim, and he has unique qualities and abilities, and he's worthy in the eyes of the Rabbeinu Shalom, and he has a mission to accomplish that he can accomplish. Vayaminu Ba'ashem, they believed in Hashem and they believed in themselves. So it's no surprise that the answer to the Kitrug of Mo Enosh Kisiz Kirenu needs to come from Moshe Rabbeinu himself. And we already see in the early beginning, in the time of the Ovois, we know that. Esau was born the Bechor. But he gave up his birthright, which included doing the Avoidah, serving the Rabbi Nishaloyim, the Avoidah Sakorbonos. He gave it up, he sold it. As the Psukim tell us in Parshish Tol Dois, he sold the Bechor to Yaakov Avinu. Why did he sell it? You know, uh, the Pasuk says, Vayivez Esau Vesabchorah. He despised the birthright. However, it's kind of surprising that Esau, who grew up in the home of Yitzchak Avinu, under the influence of Avram Avinu, didn't respect, didn't understand the greatness of Avoida. However, if you look into the Psukim, you'll see that this Posik Vayivez Esau Vesabchera appears after he already gave up the Bechera. Before he sold the Bechera, it says something totally different. It says, Hine or Noichi Hoyleich Lomus, Vilomo Ze Li Bechera. I'm going to die anyway. Why do I need the Bechera? Rashi says, Harbe as Hogois, the Oinchen Umisois, Kluimbo, Hine or Noichi Hoyleich Lomus Al Yodo. The priesthood, the kahuna, the bechora, the avoider, there's so many prohibitions, so many punishments, so many things that one can do and deserve death for them. 
I'm going to die if I take, if I keep the Bechayr. What do I need it for? So you see, the reason that he gave up the Bechayr is not because he didn't respect the Bechayr. It's because he didn't respect himself. He didn't have the self-confidence. He didn't have the sense of self-worth. He didn't think he can do it. He didn't think he could pull it off. He thought he was going to die, and therefore he gave it up. Once he gave it up, well, that's human nature. You don't want to believe that you gave up something worthwhile, so you already say, you know what? It's nothing anyway. The Vayivez Esau is the fact that Esau despised the Bechur was a consequence of selling the Bechur, not the reason. The reason was because he despaired. The reason was because he didn't have faith in himself. The reason was because he didn't have a sense of self-confidence. The, the These psukim of Mo Enoish Kisiz Kirenu Uven Odom Kisiv Kedenu who is man to be remembered? Who is he to that you be mindful of him? That the Gemara over here puts it in the mouth of the Malachim at the time of Matan Torah. The Gemara in Sanhedrin, the Flamid Ches, puts it in the mouths of the Malachim at the time of Bria Sa'olam. At the time of the creation of the world, they were saying the same thing. And there's a very interesting line by the Ishbitzer in the Beis Yaakov in his Ma'amorim on Rosh Hashanah on Yom Kippur. Erev Yom Kippur, where he says that this Kitrug of Mo Enoish Ki Sizkirenu Uven Odom Ki Sifkidenu is a Koyach that's Tomun Belev Odom V'soyser Havayosoy that this is a inner voice that we all have that puts us down and makes us feel like a nothing and a nobody. What is man? We feel like nothing. And you know it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. Rather a self-fulfilling nightmare. Because the less we believe in ourselves, the less worthy we are of believing in ourselves. And we actually become a nothing and a nobody. So the preparation to Kabbalah Satayra is really getting rid of that Kitruk, saying that we recognize that we are worthy and capable, and not because we ignore or we deny our faults. Moshe Rabbeinu says to the Malachim, do you have a Yetzirah? Do you have any evil inclinations? In other words, man is worthy for Kabbalah Satayra, not because he's great, he's, he's perfect, because he's imperfect. And it's the challenge of trying our best to do what's right. That's what brings the Nachas Ruach to the Rabbi Shalom. The Abish is a health and we should be Zoyche to instill in ourselves and, and in our children that feeling of worthiness, the feeling of self confidence. Hachzeh Lohem Tshuva, and we should be Zoyche to not only receive but take upon ourselves the Torah. Mit euch simche, wir tun gleich vor, war guten Schabes und ein guten Jomtiv.